Hi, I'm Esther Shera and I'm here for an episode of Exploring Creativity, uh, which is a little time that I take uh, to share with you generally some art, my art, somebody else's art, somebody's creative activity, or some other type of inspiration, like a flea market, for example. Well, this time, um, I have decided, hey, Ellen, hi. Um, I have decided to bring you with me just for like a few minutes uh, to the Forêt Fontainebleau, the forest of Fontainebleau. Fontainebleau is um, a castle outside of Paris in a forest. Hey, there you go. It's a really got a cute town too. And it's even got a place called Est Hair where you can get your hair cut. Um, uh, and it's E-S-T, E, which means is, hair, Est Hair. Yeah, I should get my hair cut there. So um, anyway, I do these exploring creativities to share things with you, but also so that you then think, hey, I should go on this woman's site and I should buy her art and put it in my house because then I will have all these extraordinary experiences wrapped up in a piece of art and my house will look amazing with the piece of that in there. Anyway, okay, so we're about to get to the good part here. Um, but don't forget that part. Um, hi, Michael. Nice to see you. Anyway, Ivana too. Holy mackerel, I didn't know doing these at noon would actually get people on here. Good to see you here. Okay, so we're in the forest of Fontainebleau. And I'm going to turn the camera around so that you can actually see what I'm seeing. Um, well, I'm going to see behind me is lots of trees. It's a winter forest. Here we go. We've got winter forest. Okay, so they've got lots of piney things happening. But the thing is, hi, happy birthday, Ivana. Happy, you know, big fat birthday. So the thing is about these, um, this forest is, okay, so it's a winter forest, it's trees, we got a whole bunch of dead stuff around, sleeping, sleeping, all that moss and mitochondria, not mitochondria, it's a uh, misa, whatever, the mushrooms, the mushrooms, fantastic fun guy. So all these things are, hi Rebecca, oh my God, all you late night Americans. Okay, the reason I've brought you to here is not just because of the forest element. These are aesthetics, you know, because an artist is inspired. It, you, when we say it takes you, you know, 52 years, oh, I just gave away my age, 52 years to make a piece of art, it really does. I mean, it's extraordinary how many Oh, domestic complications and judgment calls and looking at ugly and weird stuff you have to do in order to get to the place where you are making a piece of art that is inspired. You're trying to capture. So yeah, look at all these freaking rocks. Yeah, not to be sidetracked from my own train of thought. But like, it's the rocks. I mean, it's not Anger Wat, but it's not bad. The moss, not to get sidetracked, but like the moss, these are the things. This is the, you go back into a studio or you sit down right here and you think, frick, how do I make lines like Mother Nature? And you go along or it's sculpture, it's sculptural experiences. Here, ugh, ugh, lichen and mosses and rocks and the fragility and I just broke it and it's that dead and it's how you feel in it look at but it's also you know you can shut the sound off and just look at the pictures because here here's a piece of abstract art huh abstract you look at that and you say damn I prefer paintings that are realistic it's like, yeah, what do you know about realism and abstraction? So here we are. Oh my God, look at how gorgeous. And I like it in the winter. You can see all those lines. So any of you who have looked at my art might see that fractal covering layers. We've got a little bit of negative space, but isn't it just beautiful? Maybe I'll do a reel later. See, and then we go back into the forest. You can look it up, the forest and the... Oh yeah, let's, let's look at the path we're on. Oh my God, path we're on now. Do you know um, Thich Nhat Hanh died? 
the Vietnamese, I would say the Vietnamese Dalai Lama, um, Plum Village. I don't know, if you don't know Thich Nhat Hanh, read anything. No, watch YouTube videos. YouTube videos and become enlightened or wiser or more present, like, ha. Okay, and then we've got this one, look at, right up there. But then many more trees, trees and rocks. Come, get out in the nature. Yeah, Ivana, come out into the nature. That's what you want to do. There's a chateau near here. There's a multiple chateaus. Okay. A little crevice to go down into. And this is um, a good place for the... I'm not going to go all the way in here, I don't think. I don't know. Um, let's go in here. See, and how do you feel when you're in here? And look at the sound is different. You could be a sound engineer. I don't want to make you sick like I did on my other video. Like bad filming. Where I was trying to be really subtle. Because the, the Buddhist, not the Buddhist, the, those other monks who sing. Benedictine. Benedictine monks. So yeah, let's, let's try to get through here. Oh my god, crevices. See that negative space? See? 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 That's the negative space. Look at how important it is. Yep. Damn important, that negative space. Look at that changing of textures. Isn't that nice? Anyway, I don't want to bore y'all. And also, I want to do a few more of these. And also, I have um, a sandwich to eat that I want to eat. So I am going to sign off pretty soon. Almost very, very soon. Great for abstract photography, too. Or just to relax, yes. Just to relax. Although I'm being stabbed, I'm being stabbed by this. So it's not that relaxing. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to get out of here. I also have to go find my husband who's somewhere. Look at more rocks. I feel like this is gonna be one of those incredibly long goodbyes. Because I wanna share these things with you. Just come over. Or actually, if you want, I'll come here. I come here pretty regularly. So you can let me know you wanna have more of this and I'll give you more, you know? In fact, you can do it by writing to me on estrochero.com. Just check it out, check out the art and then go over to that contact page, sign up for a newsletter. Oh, look at those birch. Look at the negative lines of the birch. You could get an Egon Schiele. Egon Schiele drawings of trees are so nice. Okay, you know, I'm not gonna make this a long goodbye. I probably am though. All right, I'm gonna, um, sign off because you know I put on lipstick for this and now I want to eat and um I did not put on under eye cover up because fuck it you know seriously that's work anyway and I can always just go like that and you can't even see mm, there you go that'll be the cover shot that's the money shot okay darlings I'm so happy you turned up I hope you enjoyed the rocks and the trees and later, I'm probably going to take you to a show at Gagosian because there is a show at Gagosian with Emily, the Australian painter, obviously a woman who, like, when she was about 82, oh, Rocky, you've shown up. Don't worry, Rocky, I'm signing off, but I'll be doing another one, as I'm saying, from Gagosian in Paris um, if I've got, you know, 4G in there, of course. Oh, wait, let's go back to the good lighting. Um, so, uh, Emily in... Emily the Australian, she has a long name with lots of K's. You haven't missed it, Rocky. There's going to be more. This is only part one. I've got a lot to make up for with these lives. I mean, it's not going to be that good for my, my well, not AI, but you know what I mean. But anyway, whatever. I don't care. I just don't care. That's what we're doing. So right now we're in the rocks and the trees. And later we're going to be in the Aborigine art in Gagosian, which I've got some opinions about that. But. Let's look at the art anyway, you know? Oh, yeah, that's great. Shouldn't it always be like that? Perfect. Oh. Okay, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to sign off and let you get back into your late night Fridays or your early Saturdays. And guess what? I'll be showing up later for um, the Gagosian. And if I can get to this other show of two women, I'm going to do that too. And um, who knows? This just may be something I do way compulsively and I'll have to put a PayPal button on and all that kind of good stuff. But um, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, take it easy. I love you. 
and see you later. Bye.